You may have heard that we are celebrating Pet Check's fifth anniversary tonight, but we're also profiling one of the newer rescues, the Itty Bitty Kitty Committee, and the big difference it's making with its new low-cost spay and neuter clinics that advocates say will be a game changer for Greater Victoria's pet overpopulation crisis. Tess Van Stratton has the details in this week's Vital People. All of the things that you would see here, you're going to see in a normal clinic. Sharon Rubin's excited to show off the Itty Bitty Kitty Committee's new mobile low-cost spay and neuter clinic. Cost and affordability is a barrier for many people, and so it was a passion of mine to try and start this clinic in order to provide care for people at a price that they could afford. It's going to do a lot of help for the community. The not-for-profit clinic, which opened to the public this month, is also helping to fix feral or community cats, as well as animals from other rescues, to help deal with Greater Victoria's pet overpopulation problem. I don't know of a rescue on the island, and I know them all, who isn't at capacity and then some. We are stuffing cats in closets and anywhere we can find to try and save as many as we can, and yet still we are all turning down cats every single day. The spay and neuter crisis is out of control. We are seeing so many animals and everybody's overwhelmed, and the, the rescues are begging each other us to take animals because we, we just can't take any more. Sharon says it became clear they couldn't rescue their way out of the problem, especially when a spay can now cost around $1,000, and drastic action was needed. I could foster full time and look after these animals full time and still not even scratch the surface that we have to have a systemic change in order to help the population. So we kind of pivoted the idea of how can we actually prevent the problem instead of just trying to deal with the aftermath. Over here in the wellness area. It was an ambitious idea that Sharon made a reality in record time. I thought it would take years and Sharon, I, I should have known better because I don't think that she sleeps and she just, as soon as she set her mind on it, she started working on it and here we are, not even a year later. Sharon, um, she's done an amazing job. It's an amazing facility. It's going to be total game changer in the animal welfare world in Victoria. Born about eight weeks ago. Despite being allergic to cats, Sharon's been in animal rescue for more than a decade, volunteering her time and specializing in the tiniest and most vulnerable kittens. Sharon is so inspiring. She's just kind of pulled me into this whole world and, and shown me what a difference people can make. To make an even bigger difference, Sharon started her own rescue, the Itty Bitty Kitty Committee, last year to help save as many animals as possible. I probably spend the equivalent of a full-time job doing this. Between looking after the animals and the rescue and then getting this clinic going, I'm probably at around 50 hours a week on this. He's a very nice boy. But the thousands of animals Sharon has helped save and the big impact the new spay and neuter clinic will have makes it all worthwhile. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.